Hey guys, let's see what Tox plays. Today, Tox plays Hearthstone and gets into a tavern brawl. Hey guys, Tox Draw is here, and I am here for a tavern brawl. I believe this makes 18. Uh, sorry that this one is late. Usually I get these out on Wednesday, but I've been pretty busy this week. Um, I've uh, actually just gotten married on Saturday, and so I'm playing catch up with a lot of things. Um, anyway, I uh, I have looked up to see what this tavern brawl is. It's called Randomonium, and it's very random. The cards in your deck are random. The apparently the mana costs for things are random. Everything's just random. Oh, it looks like even every turn the cards change in mana cost. That's even crazier. Okay. Um, I don't know that it really matters too much when, uh, if the cards are random. Maybe you can get other class cards, or maybe maybe it's still maybe that is the one thing that's still like you're only going to get cards from your class. But uh, I think I'll go mage. So uh, yeah, this one sounds pretty exciting. It sounds like it could take you a long time to win or lose because it's random. Um, but uh, it still sounds fun. You, it sounds like a, a kind of game where even if you lose, you're probably gonna have had fun. Unless something like someone gets like a Ragnaros drop to like a two cost Ragnaros or something. That might not be so fun, but maybe we'll get a BGH that costs one on turn. Well, I guess if it mana cost changes every single turn, then having a a one cost um, um, BGH on turn one might not be a one cost on turn two. Um, okay, so I guess mana costs are going to change. I haven't actually used Effigy, so I'm going to keep that just because it's a new card to me. Um, but I guess my costs are going to change, so that arc those arcane missiles probably are not going to cost one on my first turn. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, let's go for it. Four damage, face, go. There we go. I just wanted you to spin. Oh, thanks for the mana crystal. Um. Victory or death. Here's what I'm gonna do. I should probably have saved that for uh, my flame waker, but. I didn't want to... <laughs> like, I was thinking I'd play Flame Waker, and then the next turn, my mana cost might have all gone re really high, and then I wouldn't have been able to play anything anyway. I feel like saving things to combo them is not going to be a good idea, just because you don't know what they're going to cost. Are they... Yeah. See, like, I can't play both of those now. Um, that, as a one-drop, is nice. And because it's a six drop, hopefully... Oh, I didn't get taunt. Okay, well, whatever. All these things... <laughs> my things cost more than they uh, did when I played them. So I'm getting in whatever effigy drops. Unless he kills a sit spewer, which he might do. But um, if he kills the other two, I'm going to get a six drop on turn four. As my effigy. I kind of feel like with this tavern brawl, uh, the face is the place. Oh, well, I have a, uh, yeah, there we go. So I was actually just going to do one round because I'm recording quickly, but uh, I think a four minute video is a bit too short. Oh, I did just hit level 60 with my mage finally, so that's fun. Uh, in fact, I think that's the first game where I've gone from 60 to 60. I think it's funny that it like looks like it levels up, um, even though it's not really doing anything. Okay, I got an epic and a rare. 
A giant of some sort, maybe? Faceless Manipulator. I think I actually now have two of those. I think I just crafted those recently. Let me check. I have one neutral that I didn't have before. Really? Oh, I found out you can actually type new. Come on. What the heck? Okay. Oh! So that is my second one. Perfect. Great. And I will disenchant the rest. Why is Fen Creeper new? Oh, uh, I don't know why this has been happening lately, but I've been getting a bunch of cards telling me they're new. Oh, I think I get what happens. When I disenchant, it disenchants my old ones, and then because I'm back down to two, it tells me which ones are new. That's weird. I was wondering why that was happening. So it disenchants the ones that I already had, getting my inventory down to two, and then I now have a new, the new ones are still in my collection, and I only have two now. That's interesting. I wonder when that changed, and like, I'm sure it's not intended, but I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. That's funny. Okay, um... Time ball, what am I doing? I'm not thinking. Okay, uh, so I think I'll do one more, just because I it's class today, I need to get going, but I want to get this video up. Okay, um... I like Priest. I like playing Priest. Oh, you know what, actually? I think my Shaman needs leveling more than anything else. Yeah, Shaman it is. Okay, I'm actually, I'm going to keep high drops because if I get any of them with a low mana cost early on, they're going to be really valuable to play early game, if that makes sense. So like, I'd rather have, well, I'll just play that, I guess. Oh, overload. Oh, well, whatever. It happened. That's too bad. But if these end up ever being super cheap, then I'm getting a lot of value out of them. So I'd rather have expensive cards in my hand. Oh, no. See, like, if I haven't over hadn't overloaded, I could have played this guy for two or this guy for three. As it is, I can't play anything. Um, he's probably going to die. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Okay. Wow, turn two Mysterious Challenger, that's a little bit OP. And Avenge? Oh no, okay. Not great. Not great. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. What's happening? Okay, so... Here's what I'm gonna do. Feral Spirit, Magma Rager, Coin, Reckless Rocketeer, my Magma Rager is protected. What would I rather kill? I think I'd rather kill him, actually. Oh, actually, that might be good, because then he'll, do, he'll have to kill himself to get through. Yeah, I'll do that. I think that's that's better. Even if he gets through to my Magma Rager, his uh, Mysterious Challenger will have to die anyway. Challenger. I, I've called it Mysterious Champion in the past. I always forget. As you guys, I'm sure, know by now, I am very bad with names when I'm playing this game. Okay, so he can actually get rid of this. Ew, maybe that's not great. Does he get... No, he just gets a rage. Okay. I think he probably has this match. He is taking five, okay. Uh oh my gosh. <laughs> um 
Yeah, I'm gonna do that because why the heck not? I mean, I could have brought dropped Garrison Commander. That wouldn't have done much. I guess I could have maybe hoped for a taunt totem, but that still wouldn't have done a whole lot. He has six damage, so if he has two in hand, then I'm gonna done. And I'm probably done next turn anyway. Okay, yeah. I'm sure we'll find a hammer of hammer of wrath, hammer of justice. I don't know. Okay, uh, elemental destruction, please. At a cost I can afford. No. That's too bad. That's kind of fun. It's still not going to be enough to do anything, but it's fun. Of course. Okay, so that is my short um, tavern brawl for this week. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a, what a good turn for him. I don't think I stood a chance. Oh my goodness. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, apparently I have Ragnaros level to 37 now. Um, yeah, uh, so that was a lot of fun. It was a little crazy. Uh, you definitely can't expect to win by skill, necessarily. Um, but it, it was definitely fun. And I think that's fine that it's, because, I mean, you've got your ladder and arena if you want to play seriously. Tavern Brawl is not meant for, like, necessarily all about skill. So, Randomonium, um, definitely fun definitely random and uh yeah i had fun it was it was very silly so uh all right uh thank you guys for watching talks out hi guys thanks for watching this week's tavern brawl if you want to watch one of my other tavern brawl videos you can click the link up above to go to my tavern brawl playlist feel free to like subscribe and or comment and i hope to see you next time again thanks for watching talks out